look at you or the camera? Or? Uh, you'll look at me. So you've been in Edmonton for 10 years now. 10 years, hard to believe. Yeah. Does it felt like 10 years? Slow. Not for me, no. I'd be interested to know what the answer of others <laughs> might be. Might feel a whole lot longer than that. I usually try to get up around 5 o'clock. It'll give me an opportunity to have a holy hour. Then, I mean, I'll have breakfast, have a quick scan of the headlines, and then head over to the office. Go with the flow and try to respond to the needs that are being presented. And not only is Jesus the destination, he, as he self-identified, is also the way. The, the favorite part of any day for me is the time that I get to spend before the Blessed Sacrament. The time that I'll spend in Eucharistic prayer. That's where I feel most myself. That's where I feel most at home. Should we make it really interesting <laughs> for him? Or challenging? No dancing on the table. <laughs> I do recall that the day that my appointment to Edmonton was made public, that among all the different reporters, there were two common questions. The first was, are you a hockey fan? And the second, have you ever been to the West Edmonton Mall? These were the, the burning <laughs> issues for which they wanted some answers. The people in this area are pretty serious about their sports and apparently too about their shopping. It did not take long at all to fall in love with the Archdiocese. Good to see you guys here. Add some pomp and circumstance. I don't see any Oilers jerseys. What gives? No Oilers hats? No Oilers gloves? Jerseys? I arrived one year after the last time that they were in the playoffs. So this has given me an opportunity to see firsthand the transformation that comes over the city <laughs> when the Oilers get in the playoffs. We, we tend to be rather fiendish. <laughs> What's your name? Harvey. Harvey. And you're the, um, you're the... I'm the Archbishop, yeah. Okay. Do, you go to church? do I go to church every now and then? I do, yeah. Glad to be with you. I noticed that Tom in the introduction was saying that the ceremony today would be short and simple and that the Archbishop would say a few words <laughs> so I can take a hint. <laughs> congratulations, really congratulations. Whenever there's a new church, occasions like that are always opportunities to make that link between the church's building and the church's people. And the church's people, of course, is what is most fundamental. It's those living stones that are based upon the foundation formed by the apostles with Christ himself as, as the keystone. Are we allowed to see the swords? You want to see? Well, you go talk to the men and see and ask them. Okay. Have you ever been starstruck? When I first met Pope Benedict, it was at Castle Gandolfo, the papal summer retreat, and I was alone in his office with him. And I, said, and I still remember thinking, I'm, I'm alone with them. The Pope, what, 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 what do we do with this? But I, I still remember, though, him instantly putting me at ease. It was, it was extraordinary. Who needs love and mercy more than someone who is alone, dying, and homeless? The St. Joseph's Ministry will be providing this loving care to people most in need, all the while respecting the sanctity of human life. You know, the people that will come through these doors to live here, they've lived a life of I would call it radical vulnerability. Such deep vulnerability and worry and fear needs to receive close attention uh, and to be surrounded by love and by safety. But it's all ultimately God's work that we do. On. I'm going back my mind to something that I learned from uh, an old uncle of mine oh, when I was just a child. And he said, you know, I never start any day without a little prayer. God, he said, nothing's going to happen today that you and I together can't handle. Whatever the challenges are, uh, we can face them if, if we face them together. You like to golf, I've heard. I do like to golf, yeah. Um, Someday may I maybe I'll learn how. <laughs>